Let's take a look at the stars of the future now and Cybos, the, the Cybos Talent Accelerator route, known as the STAR program, is a scholarship designed to empower professional women, accelerating their knowledge, skills and self-confidence as future leaders in the financial industry. Well, this is the fourth year of the programme and I'm delighted to say that we are joined by two current STAR scholars. We get the best people coming into the studio. They are Maria Trin, she's the director FI Trade at ANZ Bank, and Denis Shetan Yildirim, who's the assistant manager at Financial Crimes Unit at Ubank. Welcome to both of you. It's so good to see you, and congratulations on being scholars. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Maria, let me start first with you because this is your very first Cybos, so welcome. What has made the most impact on you so far across the industry, but also this key thing about thought leadership? What stood out for you? Well, for me, one of the key areas of interest for me is around ESG. Um, it's such a big topic amongst our clients and um, seeing how corporates and financial institutions are setting themselves ambitious sustainability targets and goals, which inevitably leads to a better future for us. So uh, I'd like to understand um, a lot more about this topic and, and join in a lot of the sessions. You've uh, come to the right help. place. Yeah, I know, <laughs> haven't I? And what about industry thought leadership? Um, in terms of industry thought leadership, um, I mean, there's plenty of sessions for me to join as part of the STAR program. And, you know, given that this is such an important industry event in financial services, um, you know, you've got the biggest minds in our industry put together, um, really well respected and I'm looking forward to hearing a lot of the sessions. Yeah. Denise, this is your first Cybus as well, but even for seasoned Cybus attendees, the program can be dazzling in its variety and certainly hard to choose what to attend. So what are your must-see uh, sessions, easy for me to say, uh, tomorrow? <laughs> uh, yes, it is hard to choose and I'm really impressed by the range of subjects, but uh, I've already set my eyes on a couple of ones. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I will be visiting the InnoTribe stage twice on the, for the session on Metaverse and the panel on the future of money. Uh, I am also going to the big issue debate of tomorrow, where the instant and frictionless payment methods will be discussed. Um, I'm looking forward to hear the speaker's views on uh, KML and, uh, AML and KYC aspects of those new methods. And um, I also wouldn't miss the session, The Power of Data, where the ISO 20022 will be discussed and the standards implications on financial crime compliance, uh, which is my new area of work. So you're going to be very busy, really. <laughs> <laughs> but Marie, let me bring it back to you, because look, what has that STAR scholarship brought to you personally as somebody who has enormous potential in the industry? You are on that trajectory. Don't be shy run with it yes <laughs> in fact you both are on that trajectory well for me it's an um, amazing opportunity to be part of the um, what is a very global financial services um, industry i mean it's it's its own community and it's so good to have all these international um, players all in the one space and as a participant in the program i get to uh, be inspired by a lot of people and their career journeys and, you know, as someone who I don't know what I want to do when I grow up, um, <laughs> but I know there's lots of things that I want to learn. Um, and there's obviously so many different pathways that I, didn't, I don't know are even possible for me, but, you know, listening to people speak um, sure. about their career journeys and where they've come from and what they've been able to do with themselves is yeah. pretty exciting. And that's the excitement, it's trying to find your way, but I mean, you, you guys are doing really, really well, so trust me, you're gonna get lots of support. But I mean, Dennis, what is it that you would like to see changing in the industry to support more diversity throughout financial organizations? Because you have done really well, but again, there may be other people, women, other individuals who may think, Ugh, not quite for me because I don't really feel that there's enough of a support architecture to allow me to be heard, to allow me to fulfill my own aspirations. Uh, yes, I think the finance industry has the, uh, due to its scale and high employee numbers, it has the potential to be the driving sector uh, towards a more diverse workplace. Uh, for example, um, looking from a gender diversity perspective, uh, in Turkey, uh, the finance industry employs more women than men in total. However, uh, we don't observe that ratio in the top. Um, 
women are not equally represented in uh, senior positions. So one thing uh, I would like to see change is that institutions set more ambitious targets for themselves on that front to break the glass ceiling. Sure, and potentially being a benchmark for other industries, not necessarily those that are connected, they may be remote, but setting a template for others to follow. Yes. Uh, another improvement I hope to see is more uh, mentorship and sponsorship programs uh, to empower uh, women employees. And the STAR program is a great example for that. Um, it is really inspiring to listen to the uh, female leaders and their career journeys and being able to ask them questions uh, in addition to meeting um, other uh, women profes professionals from many diverse backgrounds and countries. Um, because while we are dealing uh, with our daily workloads and um, trying to find work-life balance, we sometimes set aside our personal development. And uh, this kind of programs are a great uh, way to remind women that and encourage them to try to achieve more in the workplace. Some great points. Maria, if we can throw over to you, what would you like to see changing uh, to support more diversity in our industry? Yep. Um, so I think we all want to work in a workplace that reflects the world that we live in, you know, um, globalisation. And I work in international business. Um, we want to we want to see a workplace that reflects all of that. And so in terms of having a diverse workplace, um, that can mean different things to different people. But I think it's about celebrating our differences, having a look at people's contributions and the different perspectives that people bring um, with different experiences and backgrounds. But I think our leadership uh, within our organisations have a big role to play in this in terms of setting the tone and the culture in their messaging and in their decision making. We all want to feel included um, and we all want to have the same equal opportunities. So I think this should happen at a leadership level and I'm proud to work for an organisation where me personally, um, I feel included and um, at, treated as an equal. So I think it's just a tone and a culture and that comes from um, our management. And Denise, as uh, part of the STAR Scholarship this year, you've had a mentor, uh, mentor sessions with industry seniors. Can you tell me one piece of advice that really made an impact on you? Uh, yes, there are many, uh, but one thing that uh, I will try to definitely keep in my mind is that uh, in order to grow, your job uh, needs to offer some room for development uh, and that you shouldn't look uh, for a job that is comfortable. Um, and sometimes a stretch is a healthy thing for development. Mm, absolutely. Well, that is sadly all the time we have for you guys on at Cybos TV today. But I hope you're enjoying your experience of Cybos so far. And there's still a few days ahead. Thank you so much for your time. Our star scholars, Maria Trin, director of Fond Trade at ANZ Bank. And Denise Setin Yirtrim, is that close yes. enough? <laughs> Superb. Uh, assistant manager, financial crimes at Unit East Bank. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much for yeah. And congratulations to both of you too. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you.